When asked if you'd rather have a million dollars or for Pokemon to exist in real life, normally the next question would be, what would your starter be? Well, it turns out that this one million dollar question has come to life. Not many people realize that their dreams have come true. Welcome, animal lovers. Meet these 15 Pokemon that actually exist in real life. Number 15, Pikachu. Let's start with everyone who doesn't play Pokemon's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu. A couple years ago in Kenya, it was believed that a real life Pikachu was found. This little rodent was identical to the Pokemon, even had electrical powers. However, it was soon found out to be fake, for our entertainment alone, but what people don't know is that the Pokemon is based off of this guy. Not an interesting little mouse, although the Pika is the inspiration. Although sadly, we all much prefer photoshopped images. Number 14, Drowsy. Drowsy, the psychic type Pokemon who puts people to sleep with hypnosis. Turns out, this sleepy guy is based off of the tapir. The real tapir is similar to a pig with a trunk and round ears. Although there are many types of tapir, drowsy is very similar in shape and color pattern to the Malayan tapir. For those of you who want a drowsy of your own, think again. All species of tapir are now endangered. That's a really sad fact, but I think we all know who's really behind that. Curse you, Team Rocket! Number 13, Magikarp. The most useless Pokemon in the game, whose only purpose is to evolve, can be found in the East Pacific and is known in our world as the Yellow Eye Rockfish. In real life, he's just an ordinary fish who, despite many attempts, does not evolve into Gyarados. But he can splash and he can struggle. You go, little guy. I believe in you. Number 12, Poliwag. This cute little fan favorite gets its inspiration from the translucent tadpole. Most Pokemon fans already know this, or quickly find out after examining the water baby. But what you don't picture is that the real life Poliwag is so tiny and much more slippery than you'd expect from this cuddly looking fellow. Both of these facts take away from his former appeal, however. Number 11, Caterpie. One of the most average Pokemon in the game is actually pretty unique in real life. Of course, everyone knows he's a caterpillar, but what they don't know is that he is found in real life and he is known as the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. It's much uglier in person, but just about the same when it comes to usefulness, so there's that. Number 10, Emolga. When Generation 5 came out, Emolga quickly became one of the most popular of the set, which is why we were ecstatic to find one in Australia. At first glance, we assume Emolga is a flying squirrel, but a much closer resemblance is seen between Emolga and the Sugar Glider. Just as the game in real life, Emolga is also a flying type. Number 9, Victory Bell. Victory Bell is a fascinating Pokemon, and truth is, she's just as awesome in real life. Say hello to Nephinces, or Tropical Pitcher Plants for those who prefer a friendlier term. The plant traps flies and contains a syrupy liquid used to drown its prey. Now that is awesome. And you also shouldn't worry, unlike James from Pokemon, it probably won't try to bite your head off. Number 8, Love Disc. This water-type heart-shaped fish can be found in fish tanks around the globe, and is often called the Kissing Garami. Both are pink and love the water. The shape of the Pokemon and the Kissy Lisp of the fish both demonstrate a love theme. So love disc lovers can head over to your nearest aquarium and ask the owner if they have any love discs. Ignore any strange looks you get from the uh, aquarium owners, however. Number 7, Vileplume. This boss grass and poison Pokemon is indeed grass type in real life as well. Feast your eyes on the Rathilsia Arnaldi. It isn't poisonous like Vileplume, but but it does give off a very vile odor, which is used to attract insects. The bugs then are covered in its pollen. This form of spreading the pollen to other plants makes this vile puma a fantastic pollinator. Number 6, Shellos. Behold, the Chromodorus Lachi, or better known as Shellos to the more mature audience. The two look very similar, love water, and are both a member of the sea slug family. Wouldn't suggest hugging it. Number 5, Sandslash. Sandslash has been with us since the start, and we must honor him by mentioning the Pangolin. Or, the real life Sandslash. The Pangolin has a shutter like back, sharp claws, and rolls up in a ball to defend itself. Well played, Sandslash. Well played. Number 4, Arbok. Everyone knows that Arbok is Cobra spelled backwards, which could mean King Cobra, placing the C with a K. However, the real life King Cobra isn't quite as colorful, but it really is a thought that counts. Though I wouldn't recommend getting a pet Arbok. Number 3, Crocodile. This cool croc with Moxie is not really a croc at all, or at least not the one you're thinking of. In this world, we call him the Garial. This species of crocodile is known for its long, thin snout. Get some red scale dye in a sweet pair of shades and BAM! Crocodile use Intimidate. Number 2, Charmander. Sure, Charmander is obviously a salamander-like Pokemon, but aren't salamanders water type? Well, not always. There is a species of salamander known as the Fire Salamander. Although many claim that the spotted newt resembles the fire Pokemon more closely, it is the fire-resistant nature and demeanor of the salamander that Charmander is based off of that really brings us closer to having our very own Pokemon in our homes and in nature. Number 1, Mudkip. 
This cutesy little mudfish lives deep in the ocean and is called Exolotl, so named by the so-called scientists over here. Really just add a little color and then good luck convincing me that my little water friend is not right in front of me.